stop what you're doing, pause this video, search Faces by Fahey, make sure you click subscribe and click the little bell to get all notifications for when I upload. guys if you want to see how i achieve that brow then make sure you watch my last video so first i'm going to pop on the p louise base and then put that underneath the eye as well to set the under eye ready for the eyeshadow i'm just going to take a flat brush and pack that on until it becomes tacky these bases are so good as you don't need to set them with like powder or anything they literally just go tacky you apply your eyeshadow and it goes on like so much better than it normally would so much more pigmented and it's so much easier to blend i'd say it's definitely a staple in your makeup case I'm going to take a beauty blender and just go over that just to make sure it's really pushed into the skin and blended out around the edges. Then I'm going to take the Morphe 18A palette and use this warm brown colour and just start to pack that onto the outer corner of my eye, lifted up a little bit in a diagonal line. And then I'm just going to pack it across where I want the crease to go. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and start to blend that out using small circular motions. If you think it's not blending, literally just keep on going and I promise you it will start to blend. And if it's not as dark or pigmented as you want it, just take a little bit more eyeshadow, pop a bit more on and keep blending. And then I'm going to take two darker browns from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette which needs a clean. Pack that on again in the same place with a smaller brush just to really deepen that crease in the outer corner. Then I'm going to take the fluffy brush again using small circular motions again just to blend that out again. How many times can I say again? <laughs> For some reason your dark shade is not blending out just take that lighter shade again and pop it over the top and it will start to blend it out i'm sorry about my dog's footprints in the background <laughs> then taking the black shade from the morphe palette and popping that out on the corner to deepen it even further then I'm just going to blend it across the eyelid just a little bit so that when you cut the crease it will hopefully blend out more. A tip to cutting your crease, if you place the concealer along your lash line and then look upwards, it will put that line up there so you can see where you need to start your line to cut out the crease. Then just using my concealer stick, I'm just gonna pop it on any old way and then take the P. Louise base and a flat brush to get it more precise, exactly how I want it. <laughs> If you want to stop it there you can do and if you want to drag it out further you can and if you want to do a full cut crease just keep pulling it all the way along. And taking a nude shade just to blend out the outside of that concealer try and get it to blend into the darker colours a little bit more so it's not got as much of a sharper line. Then taking the fluffy brush just to again carry on blending that a little bit just so the line's not too too sharp. Then taking the two golden colours from the Revolution 4K highlighter palette in gold. I'm taking the more bronzy darker colour on the outer bit of the crease. I'm just going to take that up to about halfway across the lid. Then I'm going to use the lighter gold shade and use that on the inner corner of the crease. Then taking a tiny detail brush, I am just using a white face paint. You don't have to do this part, but just to line around that crease so that I can prep it to add some glitter. You could even do this in a funky colour or you don't have to do it at all. It is literally your choice. I'm 
taking the chunky glitter and I'm just going to pop that all the way along that line, pressing it in with a flat brush. I feel like this video should be sponsored by that flat brush because it is getting its use. <laughs> The white line underneath it just really emphasises that glitter because I'm just taking black again just to deepen it up even more now that we've got all the colours on there to blend it together a little bit. And then taking the black on an angled brush just to create that liner effect before we put some eyelashes on. So I'm starting the eyeliner in the corner of the eye in just a thin line and towards the end I'm bringing it up on a diagonal line to really, really darken the outer corner. And I've realised watching this that it is not the straightest line. It makes me sad, but at least you know what not to do there. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the white shade from the highlighter palette and pop that up on the brow bone to really highlight it and in the in the corner to really make your eyes pop. Then I'm just going to pop some mascara on before I put the eyelashes on to make sure that they're ready for some eyelashes so that they bond together. I'm just going to line my waterline with a dark please don't draw on your eyeball like I do, with a dark black. You can do this with, again, any colour. You can mix it up and make it colourful, or you can just do it with black. I like my eyes dark, so I have chosen black. <laughs> then on that flat brush again, I'm just taking that really warm brown colour that we used at the beginning to start shadowing underneath my eyes. <laughs> then taking that fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Then I'm just going to pack a little bit more on, maybe of a darker brown, maybe a bit black if you want it even darker. And just make sure you blend it out up to the edge. Then this is when I would usually do my base, so I will now link the base tutorial. But just for this purpose, I'd just put a bit of concealer underneath, just so you could then see how I do my under eyes after I've put the base on. So obviously when you are doing the base, it is going to affect the under eyes a tiny bit and make it smaller than you would desire. So that is when I take just a smaller fluffy brush just to fuse it out a little bit and blend it into that foundation. Then I'm taking the KK Beauty Lashes in style Tessa and I'm just going to pop them on. Look how easy that was. my run so please excuse this whole situation I've got going on here but I just wanted to quickly show you them eyelashes that I've just used so I got them from a company on Instagram called KK Beauty Lashes that I found probably only about a week or two ago but I'm so glad that I did literally they're like they come in this cute little like marble packaging and she sent a personalised note with it and everything it's so like just adorable <laughs> But literally, these eyelashes, these are style Tessa, which are my new holy grail. And literally, they are so, so fluffy. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. They're so fluffy. And I've, like, spent loads of money on, like, the eyelash eyelashes and just loads of different kinds. And they're always just 2D. And it's so nice to finally find some like proper fluffy lashes, especially when you can't get your lashes done now. And I think the main thing that sold me on these when I looked on the website and it's in the description up to 25 wears. I was like, done, okay, take my money. But literally like I've used these now probably for about five different looks in two days and they've been like colourful looks as well. And literally, they just look brand new still. Like, your gal ain't lying as well. The best thing is that if you want to purchase some lashes from this site that I will link down below, you can use code FAHE15 for money off, like, as well it's like important for me as well because this is the first time, this is my first code that I've been given, it's the first company that's supported me back when I supported them and it's just amazing and I just love them and I'm so excited to get some more products from them. 
carry on with the video. And then if while you've been putting them on with your fingers, if you've moved any eyeliner, just go back in and go back over that. And then if you want to line your top line, you can do. If you don't, you don't have to do that. That's personal choice because I know it can be quite difficult. And that is my finished go-to night out cut crease gold brown vibes. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one to show you how I create a natural fluffy brow. Mm -hmm.